Would swords from the anime Bleach work as actual weapons? I've covered a handful here and there, but here's some more. The ball is way too big to be useful in real life, but make that more of a manageable size, and you've got a meteor hammer. A katana hilt on the end of that would be unorthodox though, but I don't know if it would be bad. This one looks like a cricket bat, and I mean, there are worse things. Shaun of the Dead uses them pretty well, and that edge on them can concentrate a lot of force in a small space, so quite potent. Now don't do that with an actual blade, and we don't have access to alchemy magic to do that but their shape would make solid throwing blades, and if you had a bunch of bladed drones flying around at your command, yeah, that would be pretty solid in a melee fight. Like most whips, it wouldn't be the most effective. However, much like the first weapon that I mentioned, this has a weight on the end, so could work as a meteor hammer or rope dart. And I mean whips don't work too well against armored targets. This one's pretty much just a regular katana, but the hourglass-shaped Suba is pretty neat. And I guess becoming a giant astral being would have some benefits too. So one reason why sword whips don't really work too well, and yes the Arumi exists, but that takes considerable training to be even good at, and I mean sword whips that aren't a solid blade but you know, links like this one is. The reason they don't work as blades is blades do damage by cutting, usually. So their edges need to align. And that is pretty difficult when they're flopping around everywhere. I've talked about flaming swords before. They're not ideal for adding an extra d6 of damage, since ideally your blade ideally isn't lingering too long inside the target enough to burn them. But they can be incredibly intimidating and extend your reach. A lot of people jump to saying that they could cauterize a wound. However, wound cauterization is a bit more technical. I mean, you need exact temperatures, you need exact contact time. A flaming sword would just burn the flesh away. And it wouldn't really cauterize anything. <laughs> no.